guys, it's Hazy Flazy here, coming at you live with another video. This is a deck I took to locals and did really, really, really well with. Um, I probably, I probably came in if I had to say probably about fourth place um, out of about twenty people. So that that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, <laughs> um, my extra deck isn't really all there yet. I'm still waiting on some totally awesomes to get in the mail. But this deck's a light and darkness dra dragon deck. And it's one of my favorite monsters and always has been. So let's go ahead and get into the profile. Um, for the monster lineup, I play a weird engine, a really weird engine. So I play triple battle fader. It's one of our tribute targets. It's uh, really convenient to end the battle phase, get a monster on board, and know that it's going to be their next turn. Um, for the other level one we play, um, we play... Double Treeborn Frog. Uh, three was a little bit cloggy, um, simply because you know you can only have one Treeborn Frog, and if you if you if you drew a second one, it's usually bricking, um, so that's not good. Um, it's definitely cloggy at, at, at three, so two was a good ratio for me. That way, if one got banished by any chance, I would still have another one. Uh, played Double Dupe Frog. It's just there to help with the frog engine. Um, we play Double Rodin. I really like this card because it gets a special summon when you by banishing one of the uh, one of the graveyard targets, uh, which would be a uh, deal a dupe frog, or if I get my second uh, treeborn frog, just banish it. Uh, we had the best frog in my opinion. Uh, we, play, we play triple swamp frog. Swamp frog is a good special summon, and just get a monster on board. He can make totally awesome uh, with, with uh, Rodin or Dupe Frog, and he can be, uh, be a special summon for your turn, so you can tribute him for Light and Darkness Dragon or one of your other higher level monsters. Now, going into the weird engine. Uh, so the frogs are cool, um, but the other engine is, uh, is a you know, all the special summon monsters, so we got double Cyber Dragon. Two Cyber Dragons, you know, if you want, I like to go second in this deck, simply because I don't have a lot of back row because of the, uh, the uh, Treeborn Frogs. Um, so, uh, when I, when you special summon a cyber dragon, then you get a normal summon, or if you have a frog and, uh, and swamp frog in hand, you special summon swamp frog. There's two monsters on board to get your light and darkness dragon on the field. Uh, for our, you know, going into our other tribute monsters, I play triple Caius, the, the monarch. He only requires one tribute. He's level six. He's easy to get on board and he's got a great effect and he negs your opponent a card and a, and if it's a dark type, a thousand life points. That is great, especially for this deck. Um, yeah, another for the level sevens. Gores, just because he can get special summon and a token. Tribute him and the token for Latin Darkness Dragon. Uh, because we're playing a lot of dark monsters in this deck uh, and, they're, uh, and the battle fighters are easy to get into the graveyard because the tributes um, we play one dark armed dragon just for his effect and you can banish uh, the few targets that you have for his effect um, now going into the level eights actually let's go back and let's get the other level sixes out of the way um, I, I don't have a third one which if I had a third one this would be better but I have um, double destiny hero malicious um, simply because I don't have three I have to play two which sucks but if I had three it would, uh, he allows with the special summon. You guys know what Malicious does. He banishes from the grave very special summon from the deck, so you can tribute him off. So it's a free, it's a free monster. Um, play Galaxy Dragon. Uh, is there's a couple cool combos with this card. I like to get him in the grave and then special summon him with Light and Darkness' uh, effect. That way, whenever Light and Darkness dies, I can special summon a free uh, three thousand attack point monster. And he's a light, so I thought it was kind of cool. And now for the main big Mamma Jamma. We play triple light and darkness dragon. Um, it's not really that cloggy. I, I don't I don't really get them to hand that fast, so it allows me to build the board with Caius's and whatnot and get my graveyard going. Um, but, I, but he he negates every effect. So and the best part about Treeborn Frog is you you don't have to special summon him back to the field, um, especially if you have if you have a card on the field. Um, he can't special summon, so you don't you don't go neg. Now your opponent. He can't activate effects, goes neg, 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 and you still attack. And the thing is, when Light and Darkness Dragon gets blown up or dies, he blows, he nukes your opponent's field, the special summons one from the graveyard. So, like I was saying earlier, I like to special summon a 3000 beater, or even if I had to, I could special summon a Gorge, I could special summon a Caius, just big beaters, um, beat sticks in the grave. 
uh, with his effect. Um, so let me throw these. So that's the end of the monster lineup. There's a lot of monsters in this deck, as you can see, but it kind of evens out with the spells and the traps. Um, so, so for the spell from spells, we play double Allure of Darkness. Uh, there's a lot of dark monsters in the deck, obviously, so you're gonna get your draw engine by banishing one from your hand. You draw two. You can either get the when you when you draw two, you could you could uh, top deck a swamp frog and a road in our treeborn frog and a swamp frog. Get a free special summon. Get a cyber dragon. Get a battle fader. Get a free special summon. Just uh, it's just really really helpful, um, especially if you want and if you're trying to line up your graveyard. Um, it, it helps out a ton, um, so that's a good card. Uh, good card. Uh, we're gonna get into the to the simple ones: uh, Monster Reborn, Special Summon a Big Beater from the Graveyard, or just Special Summon, you know, a monster to be tributed. Dark Hole, Nuke the Field, Book of Moon. We don't like monster effects in here. Foolish Burial. We want to get our our. Uh, we either want to get a dark monster in the graveyard for for Dad. Or um, you know, Dark Iron Dragon, or we want to get our Treeborn Frog into the graveyard for a special summon later on, or we want to get our um, level uh, eight um, Galaxy Dragon into the graveyard for a special summon off Dark Iron Dragon or Monster Reborn to get a 3000 beater on board. That's just a free heavy hidden monster, one for one, to build up the darks in the graveyard for uh, Dark Iron Dragon and to get the Treeborn Frog. Uh, to the field. Uh, I want to play two trade in, but only have one. Um, but trade in for the for the light and darkness dragons, which is three targets, and then the galaxy dragon, which is a fourth target. It's a good way to draw two cards. Uh, I play double MST. I play double blazing mirror force just for the effect for the uh, damage. Um, the effect damage also as summon off gores would be nice with that. Uh, one capulse. We don't like monsters. A torrential tribute just to get the uh, monsters off the board, and a wabuku just to keep your weak special summon monsters like a treeborn frog or a swamp frog alive on the field uh, for the next turn for a tribute. Um, that ends the main deck. Now I know I'm missing two totally awesomes. Uh, they would help. Uh, I don't play any rank eights simply because um, you're not gonna make it. I mean, Dark Iron Dragon is supposed to, I'm sorry, not Dark Iron Dragon, uh, Light and Darkness Dragon is supposed to be blown up, so you're not going to make a rank 8. Um, totally awesome. I need two of them. Uh, they, they're definitely one of the best boss monsters ever. But, you know, for the level one, for the rank ones, we got Utopia Rouge, two Downer Magician, uh, level twos, we got two Gachi Gachis, and for the, for the Cyber Dragon, we have a Greedy uh, Sour Rubber Rubber. And we also have a Pallades, but it's in my binder right now, and then an M7. And then for the Caiuses, we have a Photon Strike Balancer. Um, that you don't really use the extra deck too often. It does come in handy uh, every now and then. But the, the your main deck monsters really do uh, pretty much win the game for you. Because um, when you're playing this, You've got to think you're almost always going to have a big beat stick on the board. If it's a, not a light and darkness dragon, you're going to have a galaxy dragon that banishes the opponent's monster. You're going to have either have a, a dark iron dragon on the field. You're going to either have a free gores. And I've had multi, I, I mean, I always have multiple Kaisas on the field all at once, all the time. Um, but this is a this is like, this is like a weird engine. You know, it almost it's almost like tree. It's almost like uh, monarch frogs. But I put a little twist on it and made it more focused on the Light and Darkness Dragon. You can play Eclipse Dragon with Light Pulsar Dragon, but I don't really like it that much. Um, but yeah, this is my deck. Um, it's definitely a fun, fun build. And I do recommend it um, to the little bit more experienced players. But this can be really simplified if you, uh, if, if you just uh, learn the, uh, the engine. It's got, it's got like three different engines in it. So, I mean, it's, it's, it can be clogging, but for the most part, it's it it honestly gets the job done. You may notice I have like different color sleeves. That's because these other, the yellows um, go into other decks, but you know, I subbed them in for this deck. Anyway, um, that's my deck profile, and I hope you guys have a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, Hazy Plazy out.